Hey YouTube, what's up? This is the Reluctant Nobby back again. Back, excuse me, again. Um, with news and views, my views on the news and stuff that's going on. Um, this is going to be another significant video, is be um because after listening to a couple of people uh, speak, um, as a result of the status of the basically what the Europeans have done, um to their societies by getting rid of um well I'm, I'm not even going to say much more because um there's a guy i ran across by accident his name was black pigeon speaks right I believe he's a white dude right but i have a model and y'all know it the truth is the truth no matter who it comes from so um y'all need to go listen to his whole video on this i'll probably um i'll try to put his um the link in the description box but y'all need to listen to his whole video right and i'm gonna put some of my links up so that y'all can follow along um with this uh because on this one you will um, i'm dealing with some of the bs that people's been putting on my page and i'm gonna let you see with some of some of the people have been putting on them um i've been deleting anything with the word coon in it so i'm just warning y'all anybody come on come on my channel call anybody black dude or black woman anybody on my channel a coon you're getting deleted period to me that's racist all right um so i don't care if you hate the information that i'm putting up it's the truth and it's funny that you ignorant people out there can't refute the truth but you can resort to calling somebody coon and stuff i got something for you behind though you know and that is i could keep doing this all day long and i'm helping anybody that wants to do this um now if they put forth the effort and do what i asked them to do as in i give them a um a email right because i want to know if people are serious about what they say and stuff like that and you know or seeing if people just saying nice stuff and blowing you off so i'll help anybody start what i'm um start this that i'm doing all right um it's just beat me by myself using my own wit and and things and so basically anybody could do this uh, if you have something to say and i have something to say all right so oi to the bang um kedu bonjour mes amis vases los ni hao ni hao ma hello to everybody else um konnichiwa um this is how the white system is using the modern black woman to destroy resourceful black men and their legacy plus their memory all right, they are attacking the memory and the legacy of good things that black men have done in the community. But this is the problem. Black women are so stupid and evil with their ignorance. And this is just evil that they choose to forget recent history, recent history. And they will come say, you black men ain't done nothing for us. You haven't protected us and stuff. Why? Because they just want to be evil. So. It's going to be us first, the black men first, then whatever they you um whatever's happening to us is going to spread to the world, but not all of the world. And um this dude Black Pigeon speaks. Um listen to him. He he has some, you know, he has a theory as, as to what's going to happen. And I can't say that I don't agree with him. Good black women do you want to be a part of the bad black women the evil ones the ones like beyonce and stuff like that because that's who represents you that's why we don't ever have to say not all because so many black women are evil that their evil is representing all black women until good black women stand up and start speaking out too but if you sit there and do nothing then it's going to include you just by default you better say something all right, so pay attention to this. Um, this is Black Pigeon Speaks. According to Unwin, after a nation becomes increasingly liberal with regards to its sexual morality, it loses its cohesion, its impetus, 
and its purpose. From a chaste moral code, societies gained what he called expansive energy. And this energy allowed these cultures to expand into other weaker cultures. Now, when you compare the modern Western world with the Islamic one, you see exactly the results that Unwin's theory would predict. By allowing women to fuck freely, the West has de facto entered a matriarchy that disincentivizes young men. Islam, on the other hand, keeps their women chaste. And their expansive energy, as Unwin's theory predicts, is manifested in what we're observing today. The Islamic culture is the one who's expanding into the West. And it was only recently that the West was able to dominate all other cultures on the planet. Ultimately, each civilization became less cohesive, less aggressive, and less resolute. Civilizations in this liminal phase then collapsed from either A, an internal anarchic revolution, or B, conquest by invaders with greater social energy. Terrifyingly, Unwin also noted that there was no case in any of the studies he'd made in which a culture managed to restrict the sexual freedom of women once they'd been loosened. A feminist society and future is an oxymoron, as it's unsustainable in the long run. Based just on past history, a civilization that embraces feminist values will cease to exist in a very short time. This is why we've never seen a feminist civilization aside from very short spans at the end of great empires. The signs of decline are already observable. While many countries are sliding into social decline, the canary in the coal mine is the self-described humanitarian superpower that pursues a feminist foreign policy. When looking at Sweden, it's one of the most gender equal countries on earth. And while they've become the rape capital of Europe, they're flushing their culture and country down the toilet and pressing forward in their civilizational suicide at an ever accelerating pace. The total and complete feminization of Sweden and its men have allowed their women to invite their country's own destruction through the importation of millions of unassimilatable and aggressive people from completely alien cultures. Not only are they borrowing money to fund the colonization of their country, but they are now even creating gender imbalances that will have severe and lasting repercussions on their society's future. And they await their doom with smiles of tolerance and passivity, calm as Hindu cows. Looking again at Unwin's work, he leaves us with a stark dilemma. It may not be possible to save the West. According to his model, this process is irreversible. And the only way to do so would be to restrict the sexual freedom of Western women and move back to a more patriarchal society. And as things stand, this is probably an impossibility. So, instead of having it all, Western women risk losing everything. What are liberal feminists going to do when faced with aggressive gangs of migrants bent on theft and sexual violence? Burn their bras and throw a pocket edition of cunt a declaration of independence at them? The violence now being directed toward Western women in their own countries is undeniable proof of the breakdown of the leftist utopian ideals for society. The million migrants that have already arrived and the millions on their way already understand that the West is a toothless civilization ripe for plunder. While Western women might be the ones advocating, whether knowingly or not, for the destruction of the West via misplaced compassion and hyper-emotionalism, it's also the fault of Western men by giving them the choice and allowing their gender's particular predilections to dictate what our civilization's values, priorities, and ultimately what our future should and will be. And maybe Unwin is right. Maybe there is no peaceful way to resolve this crisis of our civilization. Our feminized society hasn't built an equality rainbow that'll usher the West into a nirvana of peace and security based on mutual respect and tolerance. No, it has succeeded in paving the way for the takeover and Islamization of the West. Ironically, it'll be feminine tendencies and policies that rule our society, if not kept in check, that will bring down the more gender-inclusive states of the West and replace them with the tribalism of Africa and the Middle East and the hyper-masculinity of Islam. You can have a feminized society, but it won't survive Islam. And here's the crimson red pill of this video. Western men have given Western women freedom of will and choice in their own society. And Western women are now choosing who will take it away from them.
Oh, did y'all catch that? So here are some of the comments that uh, some of the people started leaving for me. You know, um, check out uh, Candy Kiss 11. You know, first thing she wanted to do is call me Coon. Now, as y'all know by my channels, I don't put nothing up but research. Um, y'all see all the graphs. I prove all my statements. When I say black women are murdering the human or the, the African-American race in the United States, I put up the statistics to show that. And it's not even arbitrary statistics. It's things that they are seeing. I am proving that they are single handedly killing by themselves without the help of thugs, without the help of disease. They are single handedly killing off the black community. All right. First thing she says, um, the one at the bottom, Coon, you obviously don't know who you're who you are. Right. Uh, the, and what she don't understand is I know that I know who she is by that um thing by um her comment we know that this is a whore that who this probably fits all right she has no sense of history no sense of purpose all right and for her to reject the information um Hosea, my people perish for lack of knowledge, not because they lack it, but because they reject knowledge. That's what these dang black women do. They want to be stuck on stupid. This is an idiot. This Candy Kiss, 11. Oh, no, Candy Kiss. She's an idiot. There's nothing else. Look, divide and conquer. Divide and conquer what? If you're a dark melon, you realize enough that you've been had. I haven't been had. See, that's why I don't talk to white men and white women's issues. Yeah, I know everybody have their issues within the community. I know that um, the other communities aren't angels, right? But I'm going to show you that the other communities, they're not killing off their race. And so for idiots like Candy Kiss and some other idiots like um, um, Santonia Smith, she writes, a group of white men that told me to, um, white men told this black women to watch this to see how black men, men hate black women. So if we hate the evil that black women do, then we hate them. Well, then, ha <laughs> ha, well then, black women who say that God loves everybody by that same logic, then you should know that if you are a sinner, and God hates sin, then there go, he hates you. Now, for people to get an understanding, the Almighty hates sinners. He hates those that willingly sin against his commandments. All right? Now, and, and here's the difference. And I'm going to just say this and, and move on. If... You stolen a candy bar or something and stolen some food because you needed to eat. Does that make you a thief? No, you have stolen. But you're not a thief unless you're like this black woman that they have in the news that went making a career of stealing. Now you're a thief. How about the black women that don't work at all and then they go every year to somebody to make up them some false things so that they can get um, uh, a refund for not having work. I know a woman that got a refund of $9,000, didn't do a lick of work, and she got $9,000 because she had children. She had to pay the people that... Um, hooked her paperwork up for her a thousand something dollar and then the children she didn't have with her she had to pay back child support but she still ended up with money that she did not earn because she had children that she had with her you see how this worked all right so for uh, miss candy kiss who say do some research 
huh you need to start effing with my kung fu like I said, the woman should have never interrupted my kung fu. She should have kept her mind um, in her own thing. She should have went and brought that mess to somebody else's channel. Because I'll show her what I mean. See that big, large blue line that's bigger than all the rest of them times two put together? That is the abortion rate of black women only. All right. This is the total of births to the total of deaths annually in the black community. Y'all can't see this um, annual black deaths over there right under it. All right. But, I mean, there you have it. Right? Now, when you look at this, you look at AIDS, the very last one to the left, 245,000. Over 245,000 violent crimes, black on black crimes, over 354,000. Accidents, over 447,000. Cancer, over 2,568,000. Heart disease, over 2,715,000. Um, and this was as of 2000. Abortion. 15.5 million. This is since 73. African Americans deaths in 73. And is up to it was up to 22 million abortions. And I'm trying to remember, 2012. And they're guessing 36 million now. In New York, black women have killed more black people than they birthed. Single handedly. We're not talking black on black crime. We're talking single handedly. So you need to stop interrupting my kung fu. And this goes out to all you weak-minded simps, you whores as defined by the scripture, and um, these sorry black women. This go out to all of y'all. I'm pausing on here so that y'all can get the gravity of this. Now, here's some more comments. All right, another coon comment, right? Another coon comment is because we see that black women are actually killing off the black community in the United States. So to point that out to other people and to warn black men to stop putting your thing in these sorry, um, whorish tramps of black women who cannot refute the evidence but um, go call a dude a coon because he's telling the truth. Screw you. No, don't screw you. Oh, my bad. No, no, no. Don't. Hey, y'all, take that back. I take that back. Don't screw her. Please don't screw her. Please. We don't need another one killing babies. And we don't need her to have a baby because she'll show take you to um to child support court. And then she might not work and be making all that money off of taxes. Like a lot of these black women are doing. They're not working at all throughout the year. Some of them are in jail and stuff. They come out, get their children, go to somebody to hook them up to get a refund on taxes they never paid. That child tax credit. And then you got the, uh, a simp here. I love the black woman. I ain't even going to deal with him because he don't know what he's talking about. All right. In other words, um, I'm looking at his thing. And if you look at it down at the bottom, this simp, um, Silky YCP, and the, the lady calling, the other woman calling somebody a coon. All right. And um, I meant to delete her, but I wanted y'all to see that this is the tactic of these black women here. 
I want y'all to see this. This is why I delete them. I don't want them on my channel to uh, muddle up discussion because they don't have nothing good to get. They can't refute the evidence. All right. And then you got this um, simp down here. Um, and that's all he doing. He love black women because he's the one taking after um, the, um, running after this mediocre P. All right. And he's forgotten that the black man has been enslaved, raped, children taken from them and had to fend for themselves for years. You see what I'm saying? And the the psychological effect on a modern day black woman is bull. And the reason why it's bull is because up until 1964, 80% of all Children grew up in two parents' household. These jacked up horse black women today in 2015, 2016, 2014, 80 percent of black children grow up where the black woman is the head of the home and she is a whore. Multiple babies by multiple different men. That did not happen to the ancestors that grew up in slavery, that were raped, that had ch children taken from them. All right. Those turned out to be some of the strongest women we have. Don't, don't you ignorant Negroes ever compare these pieces of trash that we have for women now to those women back in the day that marched for us during the civil rights movement, was bitten by dogs, was water holes and stuff. Those were some strike, um, strong black women. Rosa Parks, the reason why the boat boycott worked is because she was an upstanding woman. They put a whore on there. They tried to use a whore before, but couldn't. They used another woman, but she was hoish. And she had a um, baby by some dude didn't who know who the baby daddy was. So they said, we can't use her. The movement then had enough sense that we need an upstanding woman to represent black people. We don't have that now. And we have this ignorant simp, sick, silky CP3 who don't know nothing about no history and what black men been through. You know why? Because he probably haven't had a single black mother that didn't teach him a dang thing either. And most men learn as they grow up. We seek out other men and learn from the elders. He decided not to do anything. He decided to be a mama's boy and be a simp. Look at his simp comment. This dude, this is one dude that needs to be ashamed of himself. Oh, it's. <laughs> And I'm not done with them. Here's more evidence. Oh, more evidence. You know why? Because I do it like that. 
So for all them simps and sorry um, and poor excuses for black women and sorry black women and sorry black dudes that want to come to my channel, um, for you fellas that know, guess what these sorry black women and simps are trying to use on me? Some call it deflection, but you know what I call it? They're trying to use the crack of food. But the crack of food don't work on me. Because I do my research. And y'all ignorant black women and simps better get ready. Because there is about to be a war. And it's going to be on you. Because before we can correct anybody else. We need to whip y'all in line. Or have y'all die off. Leave y'all alone. Let you die off. Because y'all deserve each other. We also recognize that individuals do not create rebellions. Conditions do. Until they begin to address themselves to those conditions, rebellions will continue and they will escalate. Sometimes the question has been raised about why black men fight and have fought for this country. It is the black man's implacable will to be free that makes him fight for this country. And it is that same will that will make him fight this country. Each time a police officer shoots and kills a black teenager, that is urban crime. You see, we recognize America for what it is, the Fourth Reich. And we tell America to be on notice because if you are going to play Nazis, black folks ain't going to play Jews. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Man. <laughs> we have to begin to move to control our community. Everything that's in your community that you don't control is a weapon against you. Public education as it exists today is a weapon against black people. TV and news media, especially the WPP, white power press, white people's paper, and white people's power are enemies against black people. Let, what the white press does is that it makes black people an enemy of black people. So, I will say this. If when the police kills, it's a crime, which it is. Then how can we get mad at them when the amount of people that black women have killed amounts to genocide? That has to be a crime also. Again, white women kill everybody else um, did abortion, but they are in decline while black women are aborting in the increase again i say they are killing more of us than they are than um they are birthing yes the mother of civilization these women ain't the mother of nothing but brothers all is not lost all is not lost we still have some women that know what the deal is um, this Lee Sai, right? Um, what she did was she came to my post and she just wrote, I agree. And you need to um, send me something to that email. I got something for you, Lee Sai. And there's another brother too. Um, but anyway, she came to my post and she just said, I agree. And I was like, what do you agree to? And then this is what she wrote back. So in other words, she is paying attention. She is reading. She is going through the Im information. Oh, and like, look at this. She's listing all the e evidence. This sister is trying. That ain't the sister. But, you know, I have a fascination for naturally black and natural looking sisters. So, you know, you know how that go. But anyway. This is this is her thing. She wrote this back. Now, you, what did she say? She ain't mad because she know it doesn't apply to her. She's not one of them kind of um, women. In um, the next sentence, she said, I would be pissed off at you right now, but the things you say are truth and can't be denied. Black women in my own opinion, have to destroy our community. People look at Michelle Obama as the uh, rarity 
and not the norm. In other words, she's rare. She's not the norm. So, my final thoughts. It is time for us to open up a candle. Whoop! On ratchetness. What the? Hi. With that said, I am out. My boy Bruce Leroy here. Uh, y'all need to see this movie, Black Dynamite. It's a trip. All right, I'm out, y'all. <laughs>